Echo Partners Bank Ratings Report, Page 1 Overview Our bank rating system focuses on capital, asset quality, interest rate risk, profitability, and liquidity. And the Echo Partners Bank Ratings Report provides all the information needed to evaluate every one of these major areas of bank safety. Page 1 of the report focuses on balance sheet and interest rate risk while page 2 examines profitability, capital, liquidity, and asset quality. Both pages include the bank name, location, FDIC certificate number, web address if available, and the Echo Partners star rating. And for convenient navigation, each chart or graph is numbered within the report. Let's take a look at the page 1 information starting with Graph 1 Balance Sheet Summary. The Balance Sheet Summary provides detail on the composition of the balance sheet as well as changes from the prior year. Graphs 2 through 4 illustrate the composition of the bank's loan portfolio relative to all other banks in the state. Each one of the small charts has both a thick dark line which represents the focus bank's performance over each of the past five quarterly periods, as well as a light gray line which indicates the performance of all of the banks in that state over that period. Graphs 5 through 7 show the deposit composition of the bank. This particular deposit mix, fewer non-maturity deposits, and a greater reliance on CDs may cause us to expect to see a higher cost of funds for this bank. The bottom half of page 1 focuses exclusively on measurements of interest rate risk. All three standard measurements of interest rate risk are included in the Echo Partners Bank Ratings Report. Interest rate risk measurements help us to assess the likely performance of the bank in the future given changes in interest rates either up or down. Graphs 8 through 11 reflect gap measurements. Gap is a standard measure of expressing the scheduled maturity and repricing dates of a bank's assets and liabilities. In this case, with base gap at negative 15 percent, we would expect the bank's net interest margin to vary about 30 percent in the event of an immediate 200 basis point rate shock. Earnings at risk, shown in graphs 12 through 15, measure the short-term impact, typically one year, of interest rate movements on the bank's net interest income simulation. This rate risk tends to be consistent with GAAP in that the bank's net interest income is projected to decline if rates increase. Finally, graphs 16 through 19 illustrate the economic value of equity. The economic value of equity, or EVE, measures the long-term interest rate risk profile of the bank. While earnings at risk tends to be examined on a 12-month time horizon, economic value of equity is extended so that all of the bank's assets and liabilities fully reprice. Thank you for listening.